granted us a waiver, and now we're allowed to, across the board, uh, through all of Multnomah County, um, we can set payment standards, which is the ceiling we can pay up to for rent, to 120% of HEDS established fair market rent. So that was a waiver we just received. And in addition to that, something that's really exciting is folks that have already been placed with another federal resource, SSVF, HUD will give us permission as we transition those folks on to permanent housing assistance, which is VASH, to allow the payment standard for that ceiling to mirror the, the amount of rent that we were able to place them with. And that, that's a huge win for us, really help us to, to meet our goal. So let me ask you this, if they wind up, say the count's off, right, and with veterans coming back, and you, instead of uh, 260, you wind up with five or 600, will you still house all those by uh, Veterans Day? By the end of the calendar year? I mean, I, it's, it's, we've got a list, so we generate this running list of veterans, mm -hmm. so as they, they come to a, a community center or we do outreach and we identify them, so we're pretty sure we're not far off. We may be off by, you know, a dozen or two dozen, but we don't think we're off by hundreds because right. we have that running list and we know whether we're engaged in a housing process with each of them. If it happened that a whole bunch of veterans we didn't know about showed up, we would try to house them all. And we might not, you know, if we're, if we're miscalculating significantly, we might not get it done by December, but we would keep working on it until we got it done. Because it's not, you know, this isn't about the deadline. This is about getting the job done. So that's uh -huh. so, you know, we think we can get there by the end of the year based on what we're doing in terms of placement right now and who we think is still out there. But if we're really off, then we'll just yeah. have to work that much harder. Yeah, because the veterans are leaving the military all the time. Well, that's what I was saying about new ones coming in. So, so we think we're not. We have to keep housing veterans. We don't just house 690 be done. We gotta be ready to house another 690 next year. Right. Right. So that's we know we've got more. We've got more veterans coming in, and we'd like to do a better job of keeping them from becoming homeless in the first place. But that's a lot of work too, because you gotta find them and figure out how to how to intervene before they lose their housing. Right. So. Um, I don't know if that helps, but yeah, we're not going to shut it down at the end of December. Right. This is a system that we have to maintain. Yeah. I just noticed that it said um, that you're going to house all the veterans in 100 days. Well, the remaining. So we think we can house the 260 in the next 100 days. Okay. And that and get to 690. And then, you know, and the reality is there are going to be some who are really struggling to get inside, and so it's going to take longer, some we can move in real quick. It's, you know, it's going to be very individual, but this is looking at the total and working off of a total right. concept. So. Okay, thank okay. you. Yeah, absolutely.